Thank you. Good morning to this meeting for the Perth Common Good Fund Committee on the 28th of September 2022. Um, do we have any apologies? We have no apologies, thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone at attending on online just to check their attendance? I believe all members are present in the chambers with the exception of Councillor Chan. Councillor Chan, can you confirm you're present online, please? Present. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do we have any declarations of interest? Councillor Barrett. Um, Barrett. You know, I've got a, a, a non-financial uh, interest to declare in relation to paper five uh, item 6.2. Uh, I think I know one of the uh, young scouts personally and will therefore take no part in the decision. Thank you very much for that. Moving on to the meeting. Sorry. Councillor Liz Barrett, sorry. Sorry, convener, I put DI in the chat. Um, I also have an interest in um, item six uh, because I'm personally supporting some of the young scouts involved. Thank you. Thank you for that. And Councillor Chan, I understand you have a declaration of interest as well. That's right, 4.9. Thank you very much. Thank you. M moving on, um, the minutes, we have the minutes of the meeting of Perth Common Good Fund for the 22nd of June for approval. Can we approve those minutes? Approved. Thank you. Are there any matters arising from those minutes? No, thank you. Moving on then to applications for financial assistance. Um, the first matter before us today is the change to the approved funding for St. John's Kirk. Can we approve um, the revised purpose for which St. John's Kirk wished to use the grant that was previously um, made to them. Approved, thank you very much. Um, yes, I, I think that would be appropriate, thank you. Don't go for long though. Moving on, we have just one more um, matter before us on this paper. There's an application from the Perth and District Scout Council um, in request of a, a request for £900 towards their attendance at the World Scout Jamboree project in Korea next year. Um, can we approve um, the consideration of £900 in respect of this application? Approved, thank you very much. Chris, as your nearest, could you go and get them back in if you would? That's very kind of you. Moving on then swiftly to item six. Um, fortunately, with hopefully as COVID draws down, um, the bonfire and annual bonfire and fireworks display is back on. And at paper six, we have the formal application before us um, for the grant towards um, that event that is provided for annually. Um, on this occasion, however, they are asking for a grant of £22,094 um, beyond the sum that is made available in the budget. However, we have not had this um, expense for the common good for the previous two years because of the cancellation of this event. I am happy to propose that we make the grant of £22,094 um, and I would also propose to committee that in view of the fact that we have made a saving on this expenditure over the last two years, 
um, we in we approve um, an increase in the um, standing amounts that we make available for this event um, to £22,000. Um, do I have any questions with regard to that um, or can we approve it? Councillor Rebeck. Thank you, convener. Um, I've got a broad question and it maybe comes from a slight position of ignorance because I totally um, accept what you're saying about they've missed two years and I did read the report and I absolutely get that people take a lot of enjoyment and pleasure from it. I also understand that it's a safe way of celebrating bonfire night because everybody's together. Given where we are financially, however, it does feel like an awful lot of money to be spent on fireworks. So I guess my question is, has there been any conversation around whether we can do it a little bit cheaper and spend a little bit less? I hasten to add, I'm supportive of the event generally. It just feels like a large amount, and that's all. Thank you, Raj. I have a considerable sympathy with with that to the expense at this time. Um, all I would say is I, I think it's um, an expense that many who can't afford their own fireworks would enjoy. But um, Lee, can you um, say whether you've had any discussions with the organisers? Uh, yeah, thank you, Councillor Park. We had some conversations. It was it was our colleague Lisa, who's not uh, with us any longer. James is with us today, uh, filling in, um, who had the majority of the conversations with the applicant. As you can see in the table provided in, in the paper, the vast majority are based on quotes and uh, they were quotes that were gathered by the applicant themselves and they produced the best price that they could find. Um, we were we acknowledged the, the marked increase in costs at, at previous and largely it's down to cost inflation from the, the services that they're buying in and there's not very much leeway there, unfortunately. Thank you, appreciate the answer. And my apologies, Councillor Barrett, you, Councillor Liz Barrett, you had a queue in, in, in the chat. Thank you, convener. Um, I share Councillor Rebeck's concerns about the cost. Um, I also note that it's a very popular event and I appreciate it's enjoyed by people who can't afford other things. Um, we've already allocated support of 16,500 in the budget for this year. Um, I love fireworks. I, I love going to this event at the South End. I think it's absolutely brilliant. But I am concerned about the environmental impact of both the bonfire and the fireworks. And I'd like to, I, I, I wouldn't like to support our commitment to increase the amount in the budget for next year. And I'll put in an amendment um, if, if you need it. Um, but I'd also like to ask that the uh, environmental implications are fully assessed before we consider putting this into the budget for next year. Um, and also on the financial side, I wonder if the um, roundtable could be asked to consider applying part of the funds that are raised on the night towards the costs uh, and reduce the cost to the common good or what they, ha or what they have to apply for. Thank you. Thank you for that. Would you um, uh, be content if we um, ask the organisers to provide an environmental assessment for next year's and future events? Um, because I think it's too late for. So, oh, event. sorry, I didn't make that clear, yeah. convener. No, that is what yeah. I meant. Okay. No, this I accept this year we put it in the budget and plans will be well underway. But I think we should look at it before we commit to funding it next year. OK, and um, it, I, I, I note your position with regard to um, the future budget um, and the, your third point was asking the organisers to make a contribution to charity from um, any, any profit they take from it. No, I understand that at present, I think we've got both mics on, sorry. Um, I think at present they do the collection and then they distribute the money to charities that are agreed by the round table. And I'm just asking if they would consider using some of that money, maybe 50% towards the costs and 50% to charities rather than donating all of it to charities. OK, um, I, that, 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 that seems, if, if, if I may, to be a bit circular in, the, in that we're um, taking with one hand and, and, and giving away with all of them in, in a sense that that might reduce the cost to us but that's that's monies that we might pass on anyway okay C councillor um i think councillor massey has got a question and, and then i'll come to councillor hearn uh, thank you convener uh the, you state said that you want us to increase the fund and year next year as well what what was the amount you said I was suggesting that we increase 
given inflation and everything and the fact that we haven't um, funded this event for two years, that we increase the funding from the present level, which if I recall without looking at the notes is 16,500 to 22,000. Can I just point out that uh, on the, the amount that they want at the moment, 2,000 of that 2,500 is for licenses for the next three years. So next year that money won't be needed, the 2,500 because the licenses runs for three years. Um, that, that's a very good point for which thanks. Councillor Ahern. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, just two comments to start with. One on the, the proposal from Councillor Drysdale. Um, I, I agree with the comments there in terms of um, what he was saying there. And in terms of uh, Councillor Barrett's, I think if you were to put 50% or the round table were to put 50% towards the cost, I think they may have a problem with the collections because they would have to declare that on collections and normally you have to specify that if, if the collections are, are down there for charity. Um, my question is, is a technical one on your uh, proposal. You proposed um, for the 22,094. We're actually only being asked for the 5,594 because we've already agreed to 16,000. So your proposal should, or motion should be for 5,594. OK, the, the, the way we do it is we, we make the provision in the budget, but we, um, if you like, seek to give approval to the whole um, amount each year. Um, so if you like, the, the approval is for the whole amount. It's just that we make a routine budgetary provision for it, but we still have to approve it. That's not what it says in the paper. It's been our committee is asked to consider a further grant of 5594. Yes, that, that, that is the portion which is beyond that which is budgeted for, but we still have to approve the whole amount. Councillor Barrett, Peter Barrett. Um, thanks very much, uh, Convener. Um, I, I wasn't aware of anybody putting words in uh, Eric Drysdale's uh, mouth, but maybe I, 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 I missed something there. Um, Convener, I, I'm uh, happy to move the um, 5,594 um, in order to uh, uh, move this uh, uh, move this along. Um, I, I, I think uh, Councillor Massey makes a, a, a very good point in terms of the licensing. Um, I also think historically there has been kind of uh, uh, incremental increases in the cost of the fireworks um, almost every time um, they, they come up. And I do think there comes a point uh, where we have to say this is the budget for the fireworks uh, and, and, and that is what you need to uh, work to in, in, in future. Um, I think £20,000 seems a reasonable um, um, sum of money given um, the uh, uh, inflationary pressures and I suspect fireworks are, are no different from uh, all sorts of uh, other products uh, uh, and uh, uh, experiencing uh, rising costs in raw materials for, for those um, as well as increased uh, contractor costs. So I'm happy to move uh, the 5,594 uh, and an ongoing uh, fixed budget of 20,000 uh, after that. Thank you. We'll, we'll come to that in a minute, if, if, if I may. Councillor Drysdale, you have a point of clarification, and then Councillor McCall has a question. <clears throat> yeah, yes, convener. Um, yeah, Councillor Barrett has helpfully pointed out that I haven't previously spoken in this debate, and um, I'd like to point out this is the second time this morning already that Bailey Ahern has not recognised me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I I hope I've never had any problems in recognising you. That's all I would say to, to that. Councillor McCall. Thank you, Convener. Um, I'm just looking at the specific items listing and the fencing and safety barriers for two days. Um, I presume that's for the hire of those from a third party. But I'm just wondering whether or not we in the Council have those types of, that type of fencing and safety barriers that perhaps could be provided and reduce some of the cost. Again, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, Mr. Haxton, can you um, provide something there? We might have. I'm not sure that we do, though. I don't know the answer to that question. I'd need to check that one, but I'm happy to do so. If I, if I may come back. Yes, please do. Well, if we check and we do have that, then perhaps we could give consideration to providing that as a loan and reduce some of the cost. OK, that, 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 that can be followed up. Um, Do I need to make a proposal or a motion around that or an amendment? No, I, I, I think if I may, that, that, that can simply be followed up as a course of normal business. 
Okay, thank you. Councillor Revick, um, you wish to comment? Uh, thanks again, convener. I'd just like to say I appreciate Lee's answer and also I'll take on board what you say about the it means that people who may not be able to afford but want to enjoy fireworks nonetheless, I think they are catered for and I think that's a very good point. I think that point also extends to pet owners who get really worried that time of year and I think the fact that often they say to me if they know exactly when and where the fireworks are going off they can make provision for that and safeguarding their pet and I think your point about people who can't afford to enjoy the fireworks is extenuated in terms of pet owners as well. So. Um, I would like now to support the motion, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, in, in view of the discussion we've had then, um, can I propose that we approve the amount that has been asked for this year? Um, we take note of the various comments, um, but we do not move forward um, with approving an amount for future years at the moment, and that remains um, as it is um, within the budget. Um, can, can we approve on that basis? Comment to um, Councillor Hearn. Convener, yeah, just a comment there. Can we then bring this back before next November so that we can put that um, motion about the amount future years before we get the paper for the next uh, next year? Yes, we'll we'll make note of that and and we can do that. Okay, just just for confirmation, then we we we've. A, Sorry, Councillor Barrett, I'm looking at hands. <laughs> um, just, just to confirm, we have agreed to ask them for the environmental impact assessment as well. Yes, we have, yes. Okay, thank you. I think that's approved. Moving on then to paper seven, um, can I ask uh, Mr Coyne to introduce the financial statement? Good morning, committee. Yes, thank you, convener. Um, this report is for noting and provides an update on income and expenditure for the fund as at 31st of July 2022 and the projected outturn for the current financial year. So there are no major changes from the last update provided to the committee in June. Um, section 4.2 of the report provides a reminder that Section 102 of the Community Empowerment Scotland Act 2015 requires the Council to establish, publish and maintain a register of property which is held as part of the common good. And following on from that, section 4.3 provides a brief update on the task and includes an estimate of the cost which will be incurred to fully complete the review. So it's anticipated that the estimated £1,500 cost can be managed from other budget lines this year and the repairs and maintenance budget has been used in the meantime to offset the expenditure. So the projected surplus for the year therefore remains as previously reported at £32,700 and the estimated fund balance at 31st of March 2023 is £1,852,000. So as further detail in Appendix 1, I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you very much, Mr Coyne. I see no questions in the chat. Are there any questions that people wish to indicate? I see none. Can we note the financial statement paper? Agreed. Thank you very much. OK, that um, reaches the conclusion of the public business. Can everybody please um, move from now into the private meeting for the next paper? Thank you. <laughs>